it's me. Please excuse um, my semi-disheveled appearance. It's the end of the day. It's been a very long day for me. Um, but I did want to film this video as soon as possible because the semi-annual CVS clearance is happening right now. And I actually um, found out about it via, what is this hair doing? Sorry. I actually found out about it via Nuvo Cheap's blog because I get, I'm subscribed to her blog, so I get her, um, you know, her postings. And I think the first day that I received it was Sunday night. And so I went to CVS on Monday to check out what clearance items were actually on sale. So here's the thing. Uh, the clearance items that were listed in her blog are not marked down, like physically, are not marked physically in the CVS store. So you have to just know which items are on sale and then go, you can check them at the little kiosk thing where you can scan the item and then check to see if those items are actually on sale. So that's what I did. I just got a basket. I went down the list of her, of what she listed on her blog. And then I picked up those items and then went to the little kiosk and just scanned each of them to make sure that they were 75% off or 50% off, just like it said on her blog post. So some of them were on sale and some of them were not on sale. So I'll just talk about that a little bit later, but I'll show you what I got. I'm not going to do like a big swatch thing, but I'll just show you some of the things that you can get for this sale. Now most of these, the items that I got were 75% off except for um, some of the OPI nail polishes. Those were not, those were 50% off, which is still a really, really great deal because OPI nail polishes are like $8 and 50% off makes them $4. So that was a really, really good deal. So the things that are mostly 75% off are Revlon and Milani items. Those are the ones that are going to be 75% off. Again, they were not marked down in my store with a little sticker that said 75% off. I just had to, I printed out the sheet from her blog and then just went to CVS and then went down the line and picked out the stuff I wanted and then made sure that it was on sale. So some of the things that I got were mascaras. I sort of stocked up on mascaras. Um, these mascaras are the ones that are actually 75% off. Um, so this is the Revlon Custom Eyes. I actually got it in waterproof because I don't own a waterproof mascara. So I normally don't get waterproof mascara. So I wanted to get one for just in case I ever needed it. So this is in blackest black. All the mascaras I got are in like the blackest black. I've never tried this mascara. I don't know how it works. But, you know, if I hate it, then I'll just give it away. Um, I may end up loving it. So that's that. I also got two of these... Um, Lash Fantasy Total Definition ones, and it comes with the little, I guess this is like an eye, this is like an eyelash primer um, to lengthen your nails or whatever. It, lash, yeah, it lengthens your nail, or your nail, what am I saying? It lengthens your, um, so there's something in my eye now, gee whiz. It lengthens your eyelashes, and then you put the black on top of that so that it makes it fuller and thicker and more volume. And I also got these two in the waterproof. I think that all of them are 75% um, off. Actually, there was one that was in this packaging. It had like a red one that was not waterproof or that was not on sale for 75% off. So I ended up getting two of the waterproof ones again in black is black. Um, all shades of the Revlon Growlicious Lash Liner, all shades are on sale for this one. I just picked up two shades because that's all they had in the store that I went to. Um, this is Onyx and this is in Espresso. So I've never tried these. Um, if you've tried them, any of these products, then comment down below. Let me know if I should just give it away and not even try it or if it's actually something worth trying or whatever because I'm curious to know. I've, again, I've never tried them. 75% off. Most of these items are like around $10, like between $9 and $10. So, because Revlon, I mean, you know, drugstore mascara, even, or drugstore items, even though it's drugstore and you can get it from drugstore, sometimes it can be a little bit pricey. So, I ended up getting these two. They ended up being like $2 each, I believe. And then I got two of these Revlon Color Stay Brow Enhancer, and it comes with the little color on the end. I already opened this one because um, I actually am going to give this one to my mom. So it comes, this one's in light brown and so it just comes with the pencil. It's not going to show up on me because as you can see, but she has lighter hair than I do. So uh, it comes with the actual color and then on the other side it's like a little brow highlighter to highlight your brow. So I think that that's pretty clever and I don't, I, I have used things like this before but I've never used this specific one. So I got her one in light brown and champagne and then uh, one for me and my art eyebrows in black and brown and taupe. So it looks like that. The uh, other thing from Revlon that's on sale 
are the Color Burst lipsticks. The Color Burst lipsticks are 75% off, and I picked up just one color because I have a few Color Burst lipsticks. They're not my favorite. I know some people rave about them. They love Color Burst lipsticks. I'm not really a huge fan of drugstore lipsticks. Um, I prefer MAC lipsticks. Those are really the ones that I prefer, but when I do get drugstore lipsticks, I do tend to reach for Revlon uh, or I have some Milani lipsticks that I really like as well. So I got this one in Raspberry. And it looks like that. I'll swatch it. So it goes on really smooth, just like color burst lipsticks do. It's really pretty. Um, I think it's really great for like this season, fall, winter, um, just because it's like a nice raspberry color, hence the name raspberry. So this was 75% off making it, um, I don't know how much are Revlon color burst lipsticks, like eight bucks, so making it like $2. And then some of their nail polishes are on sale, but the thing about their nail polishes is not all shades are on sale. So all shades of the Revlon color burst lipsticks are on sale. Um, uh, several of the mascaras, of course I will link uh, Nouveau Cheap's blog down below, like the actual page where you can see all the stuff that's on sale because then you can Pick and choose sort of the stuff that you want to go check out at your local CVS. And, but not all of the Revlon nail polishes are on sale. So um, it was really hard for me to choose nail polish because I have so many nail polishes that I don't want to like repeat the same color even though it's... If, if I think that I have something that's kind of similar, I tend to not get that. I'll go for like a different color. So I don't have anything in this like really pretty blue color. It's showing up a little lighter than it actually is on camera, but it's really like an indigo type color here that's better. So it's, see, as you can see, like my shirt is blue, and so this is like darker than my shirt. So it's like an indigo blue, and it's a top speed, so that's great, because then I can just, um, you know, paint my nails and go. So you'll have to check at the little kiosk, because I picked up some other colors, but those were not on clearance, so I didn't end up buying them. I just ended up buying the one that was on clearance that I found that I liked and that happened to be this one. This is in the color royal. So I guess they say that this is like a royal blue. Royal blue in the Nevl Nevlon, Revlon Top Speed nail polish. I kind of went a little bit nail polish crazy. Again, I love nail polish and I collect them and I have so many and I need to find a way to organize them because right now they're just sort of in boxes. <laughs> and so some of the nail polishes that I picked up um, were great items. I picked up... Um, a lot of Milani nail polishes because a lot of those were on sale. So uh, the ones that I remembered, because I actually went to like three different CVSs um, because some of the C the first CVS that I went to didn't have everything. Uh, and then when I, oh my God, like, hold on a second. So like I was saying, the first CVS that I went to didn't have everything. And when I went to that CVS, I had it on my phone. But my phone was dead. So I had to like just go off of memory. And I remembered that the Milani 3D nail polishes were on sale. So I got every single color because I didn't pick these up when they first came out. Um, I'm trying to figure out the best way to hold these. <laughs> Here we go. Um, okay, I'll just show you the ones that I got. These are the 3D nail, the 3D holographic ones and I actually have it on one finger right here so you can kind of see it goes on. This is two coats on top of uh, this forest green color. So it's two coats and it goes on like, it doesn't go on like chunky glitter. It goes on, goes on like smooth um, sparkles, if that makes any sense. So that, that's kind of new. I don't have any nail polishes that are like this. If you hear a dog barking in the background, that is my dog because um, he's in the backyard running around, probably barking at a cat. Um, but I don't leave him outside or anything. Like we keep the sliding glass door open so he runs in and out at his leisure. But a lot of times he'll see a cat out there and so he's barking. Okay, so the one that I have on my nail is this color here. This is in 509. I don't think they have actual names. I think they just have numbers. I don't know. It doesn't have a name. 509 HD. That's that's the and it looks like that. It's just it's silver, but there's like different I mean when it reflects in the light, you can it kind of picks up like different colors, like some purple and um, some green and some blue. So depending on the, how the light catches it, it's going to reflect the different colors, but it's really mostly just a silver color. And again, I have it on my nail right here on top of a green. And then I got 512 Cyberspace. This is blue. Again, these don't go on like chunky glitter. They go on like smooth shimmer sparkle. Uh, digital, it's the pink one. The pink one's really pretty. I'm kind of excited to use the pink one. This green one's also really pretty because it reflects gold. This is high tech 
it reflect it's green but it reflects like gold and you can even see like depending on how the light catches it like some blues and some reds so that's really interesting um, it's like a chartreuse green but it reflects different colors depending on how the light catches it and then this is the gold one this is 3d so the silver one is HD and the gold one is 3d sorry my hair I have like a strange hair okay right there and the other Milani uh, nail polish that I picked up was not one of those is this color here this is in mint candy and I do have lots of mint green ones but I feel like this one is like this one has like a pearl finish if you can see I don't know if you can but it has like a pearl finish and um, it also leans a little tealish or turquoise-ish rather I should say so again because of that pearl kind of iridescent sort of finish that I don't know if you can pick up on camera but it sort of has like an iridescent type finish and all of the other um, there it is I think you can see it there all of the other mint greens that I have are not iridescent they're just sort of like a milky green so this is different even though it's in the same color family as several of the nail polishes that I have um, like refresh mint or there's another mint that I have that's like from sinful colors um, there's another mint that I have that's from Wet n Wild, so I have like several mint ones, but n they're all milky and they're, they're not um, sort of like, this not sure, what did I just say? Iridescent, like this one is, so that's different. And then I picked up three um, Nicole by OPI nail polishes. This is from the Kardashian collection, and I don't have any of these. I didn't even know that they had a collection with um, Nicole by OPI, so whatever. <laughs> so I was pretty excited to get these. Again, these were the only ones that I got that were not 75% off. These were actually 50% off, which made them $4, which is still a really good deal for an OPI nail polish. So the first one is the one that I have on my nails right now. Well, not that nail, but the one that I have on my nail right now. Uh, this is Chloe Had a Little Lamb Lamb. And the names are so cute because they're all like based on the Kardashians. So this is so cute. And I've been looking for a color like this, like a deep forest green. This one has like um, almost like dark teal undertones, but uh, it's a color that I've been looking for for a while, so I was glad to be able to pick that up. And then I got, uh, let's see, Smile for the Glamoura. This is a purple with some shimmer in it. So it's like a deep plum, really great for the season. And then this one is just like a milky, um, deep plummy brown color. It's called Hard Court Court as in Courtney, if you can see right here. So hard court uh, fashionista. And it's that color right there. So it's pretty, it's like a deep brown plum type color. Again, really great for the season. So I was happy to pick that up. Oh, I did get some more Milani things. I got the lip flashes. I only own one lip flash and I don't remember which one it is, but it's the one that's kind of like orangey red and so I picked up all the other ones because they were on sale for 50% off and so I figured why not get them um because they're 50% off so these are the ones that I got I'll swatch them for you right now the one I'm actually wearing this one on my lips right now it's called newsflash and I think that I'm gonna go back to um CVS and pick up all of these because I am in love with this color it's such a great color for the season and I'm sure that I will be wearing it all the time so I'm gonna go pick up some more because I love this color Again, that is called News Flash, and it's just like a berry color. And then I picked up Hot Flash, which is like a bright, bright red metallic <laughs> type color. Really pretty. Again, great for the holidays. This one, it melted because I left it in my car, but it's called Lip Flash. That's just what it's called, Lip Flash. And this is also actually super duper pretty. It's just melted because... Again, it was in my car, but it's really pretty. It's bronze. It's like a dark bronze color um, that you can just put all over your lips. I think it'll be really, really pretty, um, especially on deeper skin tones. And then I chose In a Flash because I don't have anything like this in my collection, whether it's lipstick or lip gloss, I don't think. Not this deep of a purple. So that's Lip Flash. It's this one right here. And the last one I chose was Star Flash. And the funny thing about Star Flash is, is it looks white. And so I was like, what am I gonna do with that? I'm probably not ever gonna use it, but um, you just, it was on sale. You know, they, they were like a dollar 
75 cents so I figured why not pick it up because you never know when you're actually going to need it but it, it's not exactly white I mean it might be showing up white on the camera but it actually has a little bit of like a, a light lavender pink to it it's like an iridescent um, type color these are kind of cool I kind of like them um, and the staying power of these especially the darker ones uh, last so I'm pretty satisfied with these again I'm going to go back and pick up every single one of um newsflash that I could find. They're all called, they're, their names are so confusing because it's like newsflash, in a flash, hot flash, star flash, lip flash. So they all have like flash in the name, but it's the deep berry purple one. Um, zero, zero two. It's zero two newsflash is the one that I'm going to go pick up. That's the one I'm wearing right now and I love it. Then I picked up two Milani lipsticks because these are also on sale and I'm actually going to give these away. Um, to my mom because she likes colors like this. So um, this is Rose Hip. It's like a really bright pink. It's showing up really like neon on this camera, but it's not that neon. Um, it reminds me a lot of, it's, it's almost like a, a kind of muted down version of Max Girl About Town. So I like it. It's showing up really purpley on the camera, but it's not that purple. It's actually pink, like a, like a dark pink, but it's, show, it's showing up kind of magenta, but it's not that magenta. So again, that is rose hip, and then I got um, pink passion, which is that one right there, pink passion. I totally forgot, one last thing is I picked these up too. These are from Milani as well, and these are the Sparkling Eyes, Sparkling Eye Shadow. Um, and I figured since they're like fun and sparkly that they would be so great for the holidays. I have not tried them, or nor have I opened them. So I don't know, but let's open one. I'm gonna open up this Gorgeous and Glowing. I got Gorgeous and Glowing, um, Delightfully Dazzling, which is the blue one, and then Glamorously Glittering. So I'm gonna open up Gorgeously Glowing, which is the green one watch it for you guys. I almost forgot to mention it. Silly, silly me. It was over there to the side, so I wasn't really paying attention to it. Uh, okay. Oh, look, it comes in like this. I thought it would be like more of an angle tube. I don't know why I thought that. Um, and then it just squeezes out like that. And then I guess you just rub it on. Oh, okay. So that'll be really cool for the holidays to have like different, I don't, I'm ho I don't know what the staying power is. I don't know how it looks, but for like a dollar fifty or a dollar seventy five or however much this was, um, it's certainly worth trying, right? So it goes on like that. I, I would definitely put this over. I wouldn't wear it by itself because it's not opaque enough to wear as like by itself. I would um, probably do like a green uh, smoky eye or like a gold green and gold type smoky eye and then put this on top so that this uh, so it has like sort of like a green base to reflect itself off of because then that would probably be like super duper pretty right so yeah so those are the ones that I got there and then I also picked up a Revlon the, there's some powders that are on sale the Rev like the Revlon I know the Revlon um, age defying uh, foundation those are on sale but I don't wear that foundation and then they uh, the HD, is it the HD, I'm not exactly sure, powder, you're just gonna have to grab it and then check. I'll put the exact name down below of what's on sale, but I think it's the HD powder, not the ones that are like round in the round tin, like, you know, there's a square and then inside the product is round. It's not the one that has a round product, it's the one that has a square product. And I bought one of those for my mom because I know that she uses that powder. So I did buy one of those for her and I got hers in the color like the lightest one or whatever because she's pretty light so I got her color in the lightest one and so I got that but I left it in my car and I don't have it with me and I think that's all the stuff that I picked up there are a ton more things that are actually on sale CoverGirl has a lot of stuff that's 50% off and L'Oreal has some stuff that's 50% off too but I didn't grab any of those I really just um sort of gravitated towards the things that were 75% off because I think that's such a great deal and on the blog, I do want to mention that there are some things that are mentioned on the blog that uh, say that they're 75% off. It, it said that Revlon lip butters are 75% off, and in my CVS, and I checked several CVSs, the Revlon lip butters were not 75% off. So I would be very careful. I would check 
on the little kiosk thing before you took it to the register to pay for it because mine did not show up being 75% off. There are a couple other items that are listed on her website that say, uh, that she says are 75% off, but they're not 75% off. Maybe they're just not 75% off everywhere. I'm not exactly sure. There's some Wet n Wild things that are 50% off, like the Wet n Wild single pan eyeshadows. And people were concerned that they were going to discontinue those and because people love those so much. But according to Wet n Wild, they're not discontinuing those. They're just um, trying to move it out so that they can bring in some new fresh product. Uh, but my CVSs, like none of the CVS, I went to three? No, I went to four different CVSs actually. So the, the four CVSs that I went to, the ones that are around me do not sell Wet n Wild products, which is a little bit unfortunate because you know how much I love my Wet n Wild products and I would have stacked up on all the single pan um, eyeshadows had they been selling in my CVS, but they're not. So what's the real deal? Uh, but those are things that I got. Please let me know what you're getting from the CVS uh, semi-annual beauty clearance because I think that 75% off on some of these items is fantastic. Like these mascaras that are $10 a piece, 75% off makes them $2.50. Like $2.50 for, a, I mean, as far as I know, pretty decent mascaras. I mean, they're at least worth $10 because that's what they're sold for in the stores regularly. So I'm excited to try some of these new products that I haven't tried yet. I'm excited about all my nail polishes and uh, the lip flashes that I got. Again, I'm going to go pick up this, this one, like as many as I can get my hand on because I love it so much. But that's pretty much it. Um, just wanted to let you guys know, I don't know how long the beauty clearance goes on, so I would definitely just rush out to your CVS, especially now when everything is not marked, so things aren't usually picked over, because that's what I was finding. I was finding that when I would go in, since it's not marked as clearance, like th there was still like some products left on the shelf that I could go, and even the sales lady was like, oh my gosh, you got so many things, because I think I spent like $60 on like $200 worth of stuff. It was like, yeah, it was like $60 on almost $200 worth of stuff. So I think that that's really, really good. And then I had, um, you know, I got like double points because I, you know, have like a little CVS card. And then because I'm a beauty person, like I've signed up for like the CVS beauty program. So I got like a $5 off coupon. So I was able to save like quite a bit, um, you know, just from purchasing all these items. So it's exciting and I hope that you guys have a fun time shopping at your local CVS. If you don't have a CVS around you, I'm so sorry because you know, then you can't participate in the sale. I don't think that the sale goes on online. I think it's only in store. So, um, but anyway, that's all I have for today. I hope you guys are having a wonderful afternoon or morning or nighttime or whatever. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.